Prepare to embark on a journey of profound knowledge, where we will unveil the secrets of the Odin mysteries and explore the nine worlds of Yggdrasil. Imagine for a moment, standing before a colossal tree whose roots and branches extend beyond our understanding. This tree, Yggdrasil, is the center of the cosmos in Norse mythology, interconnecting all levels of existence. We will begin our journey with Odin, the central figure of this vast universe. Odin, often represented as a god of multiple faces, the wise, the warrior, the magician, and the relentless seeker of knowledge. He is much more than a simple deity. He is the invisible mentor guiding humans on their spiritual journeys. Odin sacrificed an eye to drink from the well of wisdom and hanged himself on Yggdrasil, thus gaining the gift of runes and knowledge so vast that it transcends human understanding. To fully understand the Odin mysteries, we need to grasp the concept of sacrifice and the relentless quest for wisdom. Those unwilling to sacrifice the known for the unknown will never achieve true enlightenment. Odin teaches us that the path to wisdom is filled with challenges and sacrifices, but it is precisely through these trials that we find the true essence of our being. Now let's delve into the nine worlds connected by the branches and roots of Yggdrasil. Each world is a piece of the cosmic puzzle that when understood in its entirety reveals the perfect balance of existence. We begin with Asgard, the realm of the Aesir gods. Imagine a world of splendor where Odin and his divine companions reside. Asgard reminds us that even at the peak of spirituality, there is always room for growth and learning. However, the true essence of Asgard lies in understanding the role of the Aesir gods as models and protectors. They are representations of the higher aspects of ourselves, those we must aspire to incorporate into our daily lives. Descending a bit on the tree, we find Vanaheim, home to the Vanir, another group of gods associated with fertility, prosperity, and nature. The Vanir show us the importance of balance with the natural world and teach us the synergy between man and earth. In Vanaheim, we learn that true prosperity comes when we live in harmony with the environment that surrounds us. Just below is Midgard, our world, the earth. Midgard is a metaphor for human life, a battlefield where we face our internal and external struggles daily. It is where duality fully manifests, and understanding it is fundamental to our spiritual growth. Continuing our journey, we arrive at Jotunheim, the world of giants, Jotnar. This realm is inhabited by powerful and chaotic beings that symbolize our most primal emotions and impulses. Jotunheim teaches us the importance of recognizing and mastering these internal forces, for only by understanding and integrating these parts of ourselves do we find harmony and balance. Muspelheim, the realm of fire and heat, is the next world. Governed by the fire giant Surt, this world represents both creation and destruction. The fire of Muspelheim can be seen as the fire of passion, which when unbalanced can consume everything in its path but if controlled, can be the driving force of creation and transformation. Contrary to Muspelheim, Niflheim is the realm of ice and snow. This world of eternal cold symbolizes stagnation and inertia. Niflheim reminds us that while stillness may be necessary at certain moments of our journey, remaining in it too long can freeze our spiritual and emotional progress. Svartalfheim, home to the dwarves, Vergar, is another fascinating world. The dwarves are masters of forging and crafting, creating some of the most powerful items in Norse mythology. This world teaches us about the importance of creativity and diligent work. Svartalfheim reminds us that through work and dedication, we can shape our destiny and create something extraordinary from the seemingly insignificant. Alfheim, the realm of the light elves, Ljosalfar, is a world of beauty and light. The light elves are ethereal beings symbolizing purity, wisdom, and harmony. This world inspires us to seek the light within ourselves and illuminate the path for others. True wisdom is not something to be hoarded but shared for the benefit of all. Finally, we arrive at Helheim, the realm of the dead, governed by the goddess Hel. This is the world where those who did not die gloriously in battle go. Helheim confronts us with our mortality and the acceptance of death as an inevitable part of life's journey. It is not a world of punishment but a reminder of transience and the need to live fully while we are here. Each of these worlds offers a lesson and profound insight into existence. 
They are not just mythical places, but symbolic representations of the various aspects of our lives and our internal states. Through the tree of Yggdrasil, we perceive how all these experiences and worlds are interconnected, forming an intricate tapestry of life. Now, understanding a bit more about these worlds and the lessons they offer, we can reflect on practical ways to integrate these teachings into our daily lives. Odin teaches us the importance of the constant pursuit of wisdom. Experiencing a bit of the essence of Asgard can mean cultivating the habit of reading, reflection, and continuous study. Just as Odin sacrificed an eye for wisdom, we may be called to make smaller sacrifices, such as time and comfort, to enhance our understanding and awareness. Similarly, the world of the Vanir in Vanaheim teaches us about the need for balance with nature. This can translate into daily practices such as respecting the environment, practicing mindful eating, and cultivating a deeper connection with the natural cycles that govern our lives. Exploring Midgard, our world, is about understanding and facing our daily challenges with courage and resilience. We can adopt this by seeking to improve our relationships, facing our fears, and always seeking self-knowledge, recognizing that each obstacle is an opportunity for growth. As for Jotunheim, the world of giants and primordial forces, it reminds us of the importance of mastering our primal impulses. Practices such as meditation, therapy, and self-awareness are valuable tools for recognizing, understanding, and integrating these aspects of ourselves, promoting internal balance. The creative and destructive fire of Muspelheim can be seen as our creativity and passion. When well-directed, these elements can lead us to achieve remarkable things. Cultivating hobbies, dedicating ourselves to passionate projects, and always seeking new ways to express our creativity are practices that connect us with the energy of Muspelheim. On the other hand, maintaining balance with Niflheim means not letting inertia paralyze us. Setting goals, staying busy with constructive activities, and avoiding procrastination are ways to prevent the cold of inertia from freezing our progress. Svartalfheim inspires us to be diligent in our creations and hard work. Whether in personal or professional projects, dedication, attention to detail, and the pursuit of excellence are practices that connect us with the energy of the dwarves and their mastery. Alfheim brings us the lesson of purity and the pursuit of harmony. Cultivating empathy, kindness, and sensitivity in human relationships can illuminate not only our paths, but also those around us. Practicing activities that bring us joy and connect us with the beauty of the world also brings us closer to the energy of the light elves. And finally, Helheim teaches us to accept the finitude of life, reminding us of the importance of living fully and in harmony with our truths. Maintaining a healthy perspective on death, valuing each moment, and living authentically are ways to honor the lesson of Helheim. At the end of this deep exploration of the Odin mysteries and the nine worlds of Yggdrasil, it is essential that each of us takes a moment to reflect on how these teachings can be incorporated into our personal lives. There is vast wisdom hidden in ancient traditions that, when understood and applied, can transform our perception of the world and our spiritual journey. I want to thank each of you for accompanying this journey with me. May we all continue to seek wisdom, live in harmony with all aspects of our existence, and find within ourselves the strength and light we seek outside. I deeply recognize and appreciate the time and attention of each one who was here. Until next time, where we will continue exploring the mysteries and secrets of the universe that surrounds us.